Alright, so hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today I want to talk a little bit about a small project that I had finally finished and it involves a play Kiwarzo. So, in one of my previous videos, one that I did last week, I managed to roll this ribbon, play Kiwar Plessitor, which is basically Maiming Strike and then something between Reach and Prime Reach in one. And I wanted to do something with it, I wanted to put it to good use, but there is a problem with this particular ribbon, because you see Play QR builds into two weapon types. The one-handed version is a scythe, which is not that great for slide attacks, and the two-handed version is a staff, which is not that great for slide attacks. But I was pretty confident that I would be able to make it work, and in the end, I did. Now, since there is currently a Nightwave challenge that requires you to guild a modular item, I decided to build a brand new Zo, and it was made out of the Plague QR Strike, the Stung Grip, and the Vargit Jai 2 Link. This gave me a relatively well-balanced staff that was only lacking a little bit in the status department. Then, after a little bit of faffing around, I managed to get the weapon to rank 30, I gilded it and I added a depolarity for the Riven, as well as named it, like I usually do after a Dark Souls weapon, in this case, the Isolith Staff. Now, as I started to level the weapon up and I added more and more Forma, it became pretty clear that I wouldn't be able to get all the mods that I wanted onto the weapon, and that was pretty bad, because, well, it's a staff that I'm trying to build for Maiming Strike, and that's not something that you usually do on the staves. So I basically had to emulate the effects of certain mods via other means, like for example, I ended up running it with Netamon so I can run Power Spike, which is essentially like semi-combo duration because it makes your combo counter decay by 5 every couple of seconds instead of dropping completely, and I ended up comboing the weapon with my Eternal War Valkyr Prime, which provides Berserkers worth of attack speed through Warcry alone, and it also has Arcane Strike for 40% additional attack speed. And as a result of that, the build I'm actually running on the Zor looks a little bit odd. So the stance I'm running is clashing for us, but that's mainly because it matches the polarity and it doesn't really matter because we're going to be sliding anyway, then we have Maiming Strike for a bunch of crit chance on a slide attack, and then Play QR Plusitor for additional crit chance on a slide attack, as well as almost 110% bonus range. After that we have Organ Shatter to scale crit damage, Prime Pressure Point to scale genetic melee damage, Prime Reach to get even more range, and this kind of makes it comparable to a whip, and then I'm running Weeping Wounds. And there are kind of three reasons why. So firstly, we're scaling a lot of Viral damage via North Wind and Prime Fever Strike, so, you know, we can proc Viral a lot, which means we can cut the enemy health in half, which is always nice. Secondly, even though the weapon is by no means primarily Slash-based, it still has the majority of its physical damage coming in the form of Slash, so we can leave behind some decent Slash procs as well. And thirdly, I really wanted the additional damage that you can get via Exodia Force, which gives you a 50% chance on a status proc to explode 200% of your weapon damage in a 6 meter radius. Now the explosion unfortunately doesn't get scaled by an awful lot of stuff on this build, it's basically just primed pressure point and then as we build our combo counter the damage is gonna go up, but I still thought it was worth the addition of weeping wounds, especially since I get more viral and slash procs as well. Now one thing about this setup is that if you want to do full damage it has quite a bit of a ramp up, but it does decent damage basically from the start. So what you're seeing right now is the weapon at about 60 to 70 ish percent efficiency. And it takes about 2 to 5 ish minutes based on the enemy density to get to what I would consider to be full damage, which is around 3, 3.5, three maybe 4 times combo multi. It's still gonna scale after that, but you hit some pretty harsh diminishing returns. Now I could have technically scaled the damage beyond the ludicrousness if I just took out Prime Reach and put in Condition Overload instead, that would have been pretty insane because we have relatively well balanced physical damage so it would proc all three of them relatively often as well as Viral on top of that, but that would require me to number one hit the enemy multiple times to get full damage, you know, firstly to proc status and secondly to do big damage with Condi Overload, and number two I would also lose 165% bonus range, which is a pretty big deal because all staves don't have a ton of range. And when I tried to do it, you know, take out Prime Reach, put in Condi Overload, sliding around felt like absolute ass. The damage was unsurprisingly insane, but the setup felt so terrible I didn't want to touch it with a 10 foot internet pole. And at the end of the day, what is the point of having a really strong build if it feels so bad you don't actually want to use it? And that's pretty much all I wanted to say, so I thank you very much for watching. As always guys, I hope you have enjoyed this little project of mine, and I will see you on Monday. Bye bye.